All right, guys, so now that we understand the basics of data frames, I want to show you guys something a little cooler, specifically how to access each element in a data frame individually. So the first thing that we can do is, of course, access an individual column. And there are actually a couple different ways to do this. The first way that we can do it is using the dollar, oh, the dollar sign. So if you type the name of your data frame with a dollar sign, you can just right after this, type the name of the column such as age and it returns of course the age column pretty freaking simple now another thing that we can do is instead of using the name of the column we can just give it the column number so if we type x2 age is a second column so this also is going to return that age column as you can see now aside from this we can also access individual elements. So how do we do this? Well, of course, just like you know, in a spreadsheet or something, we need to give it two pieces of information, the column number and the row number whenever we're ac accessing an individual element. So let's just access the, well, let me go ahead and print X out first, and then we will access the second row and the second column. So as you can see, age is the second row, and, or excuse me, the second column in the second row is 13. So of course, whenever we do this, we get 13. And that's the row first and the column second, in case you were wondering. So aside from this, let me go ahead and delete all this. We can also do some pretty cool stuff like, if we wanna, let me just go ahead and show you guys instead of talking about it. If we want to do something like this, what this is going to do, remember I said the first one in these square brackets is the row, so this is going to return row 3, columns 1 through 3. So let's see what that looks like. Row 3 is of course Bobby's um, uh, file or entry, whatever you want to call it, and or row, yeah, I probably could just call it that, Duh. and columns 1 through 3 age, ID number, or ID number, age, and name. Pretty awesome. So that is how you get everything or just pieces of information from a single row. Now, what if you wanted to return just all the information in a row like people often do? Well, instead of specifying just a range of columns, you can just leave this blank. And whenever you leave one of these elements blank, either the column or the row, what this is going to do is it's going to return everything in row 3. A different way of doing it. And you can also return everything in a single column by doing the opposite. Pretty simple stuff. So this returns everything in the name column, which of course is everyone's name. So, actually, since we have a uh, few more seconds, let me show you guys something real quick. This is actually pretty cool. Another thing that I want to point out is something that's going to confuse a lot of people. Whenever we're returning stuff like this, what we're doing is we're pretty much saying, hey, data frame, show us a piece of the data frame, whether it's a row, a couple rows, a couple, a couple columns. What it's doing is showing us a specific piece of the data frame. So whenever we do something like test the class of it, what it's going to do is it's going to say OK. Whenever you run this, it's going to say data frame. But wait, I asked for the ages, and of course, this ages is a vector of numbers. However, I'm trying to get the class of it, so why are you telling me that it's a data frame? Well, the reason for this is because you're not returning one vector, at least not to R. What you're doing in this case is you're asking it to show you piece of the data frame. So whenever it, you ask for the class, of course, that's a data frame as well. But what we want to do is we want to see what actual type of data is stored in this column or this vector. So how do we do that? Well, what we can do is this. Instead of X with age in quotation marks, what we can do is do something like this and now when we return it it says numeric now I know this is confusing but right here 
what we are doing is we're not returning a piece of data frame, we're returning a specific column or a specific vector, in this case the age vector. Now the age vector is numeric. Any piece of this data frame is of course just a smaller data frame. So I know this is kind of confusing and hey, don't blame me, blame R, the creators of this language made it that way, but a lot of people often um, try to test it this way and they ended up, something says like, hey, you're doing something and you can't because it's not numeric and well, I just want to clear up the confusion. If you ever need to treat this as a numeric vector or any specific column, that data type, this is how you do it. So again, kind of confusing, but don't blame me. Blame the inventors of R. So anyways, that is some more information on data frames and how to work with columns, how to get single elements out of columns. In the next tutorial, we're going to be kind of moving away for data frames from right now and talking about lists. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.